Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. Today we're doing our third of four What If playthroughs. So we're running through all the masterminds and schemes. We're going to be going against Ultron Infinity here. So it says Ultron Infinity uh, has all, all the empowered abilities of all Ultron sentries in the city. The escape pile or stack next to him. And uh, you always have to use Ultron sentries when fighting him. Uh, or even in solo. Master Strike is cross-dimensional Ultron Rampage, and then each player stacks an Ultron Sentry from their victory pile next to Ultron. Put the strike next to Ultron as an Infinity Stone. When Ultron has gained five Infinity Stones plus the card, uh, plus this card as the Mind Stone, he gets plus Infinity Attack. In solo mode, also stack a random unused Ultron Sentry next to him. So we've got them here. Uh, I have to send out two for the beginning of the game. And then we're going to do Breach the Nexus of All Realities. So for one to two players, we use three villain groups. It says stack each villain group separately face down into its own reality. Add two twists to each reality. Shuffle all henchmen, master strikes, and bystanders for your, for your player count. And randomly distribute them amongst all the realities as evenly as possible. Shuffle each reality separately. So we've got our three realities up here. And then special rules is each turn you choose which reality to play a card. Then all cards, uh, they all play to the same city. And then on a twist, to stack the twist next to reality is Dimensional Breach. If this was the second breach from uh, for that reality, destroy that reality, came on all its cards. And then Evil wins when all realities have been destroyed. So this one's going to be pretty hard, I think. We're using the last three um, villain groups. So Marvel Zom or Zombie Avengers, uh, Rival Warlords, and um, Black Order Guards. The henchmen we're using are obviously the uh, Ultron Sentries. So they're going to come in empowered by a certain color. So this one's empowered by black. This one's empowered by green. So the rest of these will be used for uh, stacking next to him to empower him. So let's go ahead and get started here. The heroes we're using are Strange Supreme, Gamora, Destroyer of Thanos, and uh, Captain Carter. And there's no green cards, but there is a black card. So that's going to get plus one. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. So we'll play card from this reality, which is a scheme twist. So there's the first one there. We're going to put something on the bottom. Yeah, stack is next to the reality. Yeah, okay. As a dimensional breach. Okay. So we have three attack. We have three recruit. Let's use that to fight this Ultron Sentry. And we'll KO one of our cards. And then we're going to use our recruit to get uh, C's Infernal Power. Two recruit, soul bind. You get... Uh, you get plus recruit equal to the villain's printed victory points. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's pick this one. All right. That reality is gone. That was not at all what I was hoping for. But you know what? We'll make it work. Okie dokie. We have five recruit here. Um, dang. Okay. What do we want? Let's get tactical insight. Uh, one attack, draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. And then we'll get a uh, sidekick with the other two. Has me worried. I didn't bury. I didn't shuffle very well. I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, we have Zombie Wasp, Ambush, Rise of the Living Dead, and then while Zombie Wasp is in the sewers, rooftop, or bridge, um, she's giant size. She gets plus two attack. So I might need to soul bind these to get them out of my victory pile, so that I can't stack them and empower increase as a empowerment. So we're gonna draw two cards. And then put a card from our hand on top of our deck. Um, we're going to put this back. Or. Yeah, no. We're going to put this back. We're going to play this to investigate for a card that costs one or uh, zero, which with this one we can KO it. So there's six and a recruit. We're going to fight Zombie Wasp. Uh, it's going to ambush Rise of the Living Dead, which 
doesn't oh that doesn't matter that's a fight effect never mind but fight we can fight ko one of our cards this goes to the bottom and then we're going to end our turn uh oh okay one two three four five six i'm not going to choose that deck we're going to choose this one we have cold obsidian he's empowered by cards across five or more so he's going to get powered by both of those making him four oh and this is a bunch of recruit that's seven recruit mm -hmm. And those are both eight. <laughs> so we'll get another one of these for three. And we'll get this for four, which is one attack. You get plus one for each card you drew this turn. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. You play from here. It's going to be Ebony Maw. He's empowered by cards that cost five or more. Each player discards a card that cost five or more. I don't think I have any. Perfect. Okay. But he is going to go up to nine. Ten. Sorry. He goes to five. He goes to ten because we've got an extra one there. Okay. So we're going to play that. We'll draw two cards. Oops. We'll put a card back, which will put this back. We'll play this. Draw two cards. We'll put a card back. We're going to play this and we'll get plus four because we, we drew four cards this turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two recruit. We're going to use two of the attack to fight Ultron. One of those will KO one of our cards. We're going to use two recruit to get, to get uh, Assassin Stealth. Assassin Stealth. It's a uh, two. It's a uh, draw card. You play a red card. You get two recruit. Then we're gonna use the remainder of our attack to fight Ultron. First tactic here is stack an Ultron Sentry from the city next to Ultron. Then each of the player chooses a Sentry from their Victor pile to enter the city. So we're gonna choose this one to enter the city. We're gonna end our turn. So tactic down. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna choose from the zombie deck now because I blocked off uh, Zombie Wasp. All right, we've got Zombie Hawkeye. He's gonna rise the living dead, but our Victor Pile has a tactic on top, so we get to avoid that effect. And again, we've got a lot of recruit here. Six recruit here. Let's use that to get uh, break the absolute point. Um, real top of your cards, your deck, draw one of them, KO one, and put one back. Uh oh, green. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna choose this deck. It's gonna be Zombie Wong. And it again has Ambush. Rise of Living Dead. Oh yeah, there's still plus three because there's an extra one there. Okay. All right, this will be a bigger turn. We're gonna do this to draw two. So there's one, let's shuffle up. Two, we're gonna put a card back on top. Put this back on top. We're gonna do the same thing, draw two. Um, put that back on top. We'll play this to draw a card. So we basically net everything that we took. Or that we did, but then we're gonna get plus five for drawing five cards, one from here, and then all of those from there. So that's gonna be five additional attack. That's gonna be five total recruit. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten recruit. Ooh. Let's use the recruit to get super soldier serum. So what if you get plus two attack and plus two recruit? We use the three to get no we're gonna ult we're gonna fight ultron sentry to ko card we've got a rest of our recruit to get that and then the rest of our attack will be used to fight ultron infinity um search the villain deck and stack the first ultron sentry you find next to the ultrons uh, and then shuffle the villain deck so i guess in this case we're just going to pick one of them is there any kind of is there any specifics to that here I would imagine we just pick one. Um, yeah, it doesn't spec specify. So we're going to just pick this one. Actually, we can do this. Hold on. There would be two, right? This deck had one of them. 
And that one was KO'd, so it's just a 50-50 chance. So let's check this one. Nope. So it's in the other deck. Nice. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming it's just one. If I, if you guys think differently, let me know. But that's two tactics down. Oh, I should have counted how many Master Strikes were all there. Because since we've KO'd a thing, he's enabled... Like, because we KO'd one of the... Ah, there's two Master Strikes from this one. So he is incapable of getting all the Infinity Stones. So, well, we should be cool to not have to worry about the, the infi infinite attack to deal with that. So let's play a card from this deck now. It's going to be Cold Obsidian. He's also empowered by all that stuff. All right, so we'll play this. We'll build top three cards of our deck. We're going to draw one. We're going to KO one. We're going to put one back. We'll play this and we'll soul bind a... Uh, We'll soul bind a card. So let's... Oh, it's Villain's Victory Point. Okay. We, all, we can only get seven. Because I can... This is three, and that's all I do. Because the rest... We can't do it. Okay, so I'm not going to soul bind anything. Well, actually, hold on. Let me wait to do that. Let me do this and draw a card. What is that? Never mind. Okay, yeah, we're not going to soul bind anything. I forgot. So there's four recruit, and there's three attack. With the four recruit, let's get another one of these super soldier serum cards. And they all bump up. And then we'll end our turn because we can't fight anybody, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll play a card from here. It's going to be Ultron Sentry. He is going to escape, which means we've got to KO something. So we're going to KO this. No. Yeah, we'll KO this. Oh, that left them their attack, but he stays down. So at least that works out. Okay. Again, we'll have a bigger turn. We're going to play this to draw two. And then put a card back from our hand on top of our deck. This is where what if's going to combo here. We're going to draw two cards. I'm going to put this one back. And then I'm going to what if for Doctor Strange. We're going to look at the top card here. And we've got that. So we've got two attack, two recruit. We're going to play this to do it again. Draw two cards and put one back. So we're going to... Oops. We're going to draw this card and put this one back. We're going to do it again. Draw two cards. We'll put this one back. We're going to play this to draw a card. And then we'll get two more recruit. Putting a set six recruit there. Or four recruit there. We've got this, which will let us look at the top three cards. We'll... Draw one of them, KO one, and put the other one back. So we, we were drawn eight cards. We've drawn eight cards. Holy cow. Um, unfortunately, the what ifs is going to be... I, well, I can't use it, so we're not going to get anything for that. I'll discard it, I guess. Holy cow. Okay, we're going to play this. We're going to get plus one for each card we drew. We drew eight cards because two, four, six, seven, eight. So that's eight attack there. Holy moly. Busted. Okay. And then we're going to play this and we're going to soul bind a villain and from our victory pile. So we're going to soul bind zombie wasp and we're going to get three recruit for that. So we've got... Uh, We've got 11 recruit. Let's use that to get uh, Stegoyan Communion. Three attack. If you play a yellow card, soul bind, draw cards equal to the number of that villain's victory points. Is that the one I want? Yeah, that's fine. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 14 attack. So let's, let's make some room here. Let's take out this Ultron. We'll KO one of our heroes. We'll take out Zombie Wong. We'll look at the top two cards of the deck. Draw one and put the other one back. And then we'll fight Ultron in, uh, Infinity. Because that should be 14. Because he's not being able to be empowered by anything. Each uh, For each Ultron Infinity or Victory Pile, you may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. Okay. 
I've got one, two, and three. So we can going to KO three cards. Oh, hand. Well, I'm going to say I held this one in my hand. But we're going to KO one, and then the other one gets KO. Yeah, because this one was played. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, because we didn't need to play it. So, All right. This might be a quick game. We've got Zombie Wong, Rise of the Living Dead. It's not going to do it. All right, so let's see what we can do here. We're going to play this. We're going to draw two and put a card back. We'll put that back. I'm going to play this, draw two. Uh, we'll put a card back. Well, what if for yellow, which we have. We'll play this, draw two. We'll put a card back. We'll play this. Look at the top of your cards here. We will KO one. Draw one and put one back. Dang, what do we want to do here? We're going to play this to draw a card and we get two recruit. So that's four recruit. We're going to play this and we're going to soul bind Wong for two recruit. So that's... Um, That's eight recruit. We're going to recruit Infinity Crusher. Five attack. If you play uh, this, you can soul bind six villains to get plus infinity attack usable only for one fight. We're going to then play this and what if. So we're going to choose Gamora and it's Gamora. So we're going to get the plus two attack on that and plus two recruit, which I think we used all rec our recruit but two. And then but we're going to get f two more attack. We're going to play this and soul bind a villain. So we're going to soul bind an Ultron, and we're going to get to draw cards equal to that villain's printed victory points. So it's one card draw. And then we're going to play this for five. Play this, and we're going to get plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine extra attack. Okay. So one, two, three. Uh, 7, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 26. Oh, and he's only 3 now. Or he's only 4 now. And he's only 9. 26 uh, attack. Ultron will put us at 18. 9. So we can take out th 3 villains and Ultron. We're going to take out Ebony Maw for 9, putting us from 26 to 17. We're going to kill Hawkeye. Each player draws a card. 26 to 17 to 12. And then to 4, or down to 8, and then we're going to fight him. Last tactic. Yeah, that's it. All right, dang, we won. So let's count the points. I'll be right back. All right. So we had 43 victory points here. And we think when we had two scheme twists come out. Yeah, when we had the two scheme twists. So uh, 46 minus 6. Oh, and then he escaped. So 39. So I thought this was going to be super duper hard. And actually it was pretty easy. Now it was easy because we, we he was never going to amount to anything. <laughs> because his master strikes weren't going to do it. So like these two work together really well. But, uh, yeah, I was worried about the soul bind thing because I was just thinking, like, we're not going to have, an, we're not going to be able to do anything because I have to soul bind so many things. But it worked out. And then we could have, I mean, if I worked it out a different way, we maybe even could have soul bound. Because maybe if I, before I played her, we had one, two, three, four. I think we, we might have had five. We might have had enough. We, no, no, no. We, I don't think we had, we would have had enough to soul bind six to fight, uh, to fight it. Maybe if we waited a turn, the mouse strike would have changed that. Yeah, we, we might have waited a turn and could have done it, but that's okay. 
All right, so that's going to be it uh, for this playthrough for today. It's a lot of content all at once, so please come back and watch if you haven't uh, wanted to watch these because this is a lot all at once. You're getting, what, like six playthroughs in a row? It's five playthroughs in a row? I mean, it's a lot of stuff. So uh, tomorrow's video is going to be zombies, but we're going to use it as a way to integrate the other stuff. So we're going to do Marvel Zombies, which... We're gonna use the we're gonna use this zombie group. So Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys uh, in the video tomorrow. Bye bye.